Hey everybody, it's Kayla. Um, I just wanted to leave a quick video. I know I say it's always quick, but I'm going to try to really make, make it really, really quick. Um, I'm, all, I'm vlogging today on my iPod, so I will be going throughout the day. Um, vlogging, I won't tell you really what I'm doing or what, you know, my vlog is about. Um, but today I just wanted to kind of come because church was just so amazing and it was just, it was so touching to me. And, um, and I know, like, I've just, I've always felt, I guess, okay, I'm going to tell you what church is about. Um, a speaker came and he just spoke about, you know, ministry and getting involved. And then our pastor came up and stuff and he was talking about, you know, ministry and getting involved. And, um, I think it was the week before or two weeks, two Sundays ago, um, that I felt like to go and, um, talk to see if I could do Sunday school because I always felt like Sunday school is like where, like my ministry, like where I belong. Um, I love little kids. Uh, I have such a burden, and um, I feel like it took me in my life. It turns out, I feel like it took me forever to figure out what my my ministry was, or like what I was led to do from the Lord. Um, that's why I'm kind of coming to you guys today because I know a lot of people, including myself. You know, like you're like, where do I belong? Where is my placement? you know, what am I supposed to do, and this is just kind of something that helped me figure out, um, which I guess I kind of knew, but I kind of denied it, which I think everybody kind of does sometimes, because you're scared, and you always want to run from everything that the Lord has, because it really intimidates you, um, but for me personally, uh, the reason, or like how I determined that it was my calling was, I kind of picked apart things, um, and I looked at, like, older people, and do I feel called for that, or music, do I feel called in that section, and I, um, and I was like, what else is there, um, I don't know, um, youth, do I feel called to youth ministry, you know, so I, I looked in each, each section of the church to see where I really felt called, or felt the burden, and, um, it's like I knew that I was meant to help kids, but I kind of wanted to reassure and make sure. Um, so I think that now I finally found that's where I belong because I felt the burden. Um, I just have like this, ugh, this passion and this burning desire to help little kids. I just want to see them grow in the Lord. And I think too, um, I was first saved. I came out of Catholic church and I was first saved when I was eight years old. Um, I committed my life to Jesus out in the parking lot <laughs> at a VBS at the church I'm going to now. And, um, I was there probably for, I don't even know, until I was 14. And then we backslid, um, for two years. Yeah. And then I ended up going to UPCI church. Um, but we are back now, um, and attending Faith Assembly of God. And, um, just, just from being little and, um, having influences in my life and having the, the people that were in my life at the time, my teachers and, um, Miss Kathy was my teacher and well, she passed when I was probably maybe like 10 or 11. Uh, she passed a brain cancer, but, um, just for the little bit of time that I knew her, she like changed my life and still to this day. If I'm, like, doing something, I'll be thinking about her. I'll be like, I hope she's proud of me, not only the Lord, but I hope also that she is. Um, and I just feel I'm called to the minute that ministry because I think she touched me and she showed me how much you can touch little kids. And I just want to be part of that. I want to be able to shine my light um, and see, you know, I want to be kids to be able to see Jesus through me, like I seen Jesus through her. You know, there's times when she was teaching or we, we had praise, um, you know, we had praised before our lesson, and um, I remember her just being there, and she was crying out to the Lord and speaking in tongues, and it was just so touching, and I just, um, she really touched my heart, and uh, so I just feel like that's where my calling was, but, you know, um, don't get discouraged when you're trying to figure out where you belong. Um, there might be many things that you feel like you belong in. Um, I know I enjoy music. I enjoy singing and playing guitar. Um, I know it's like a talent. I wouldn't say it's like where I feel called. Um, I enjoy like, you know, uh, worshiping and I'll do choir, things like that. Or like me and my sister are doing, um, helping out with the kids thing. 
Um, but I'm not sure if that's like my 100%, uh, you know, ministry. I feel like the kids is my, the biggest ministry for me. Um, so yes, it intimidates me. And yes, whatever you feel in your heart, or you know, even though you don't want to admit it, in your heart intimidates you. Just realize that God's going to get you through that. And there's a reason why he put that on your heart. Because he you know you can handle it. He you know you can do it. And he you know you can go through it. I mean, get through it. And um, God is just amazing. So, you know, yeah, we can go to church. Um, and maybe some people are just meant, you know, just to do little things, you know, and um, I took a test and it says I have a servant's heart, which I think is kind of funny, but <laughs> I do have a servant's heart, so I do like to do little things around the church to be able to help, and, um, but, you know, you could use yourself in many different ways, you know, just little things in different little ministries, but I feel like my main ministry is for kids, and, you know, just, um, if you feel called to ministry, you know, um, don't hold back, I just feel, I feel like finally, oh, I'm like, I'm even writing a song about it. I feel like finally in my life, I, I see it now. Like I, I know where the Lord wants me. And I've been waiting for this moment for like ever. And I just feel so, I feel happy and it's scared. And I don't know, like, I'm just, I'm ready. And, uh, I know it's my time. Uh, yeah. So, you know, just focus on the Lord and I hope this kind of helped you a little. Um, I actually thought about doing a testimony, um, uh, maybe I'll do a different video, um, uh, which I'm going to do a different video about my testimony, you know, where I came from to where I am now, um, and it's just amazing, and I just feel like the Lord's really calling me, um, and it's just, it's, it's like one of the greatest feelings in the world, it really is, um, yeah, so, I think that's it, probably, um, also, you know, um, just make sure that you just stay in tune with the Lord and just pray about your ministry and he will show you the way. All right. I'm going to let you go because I don't want to make this extremely long. Um, <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't want to like, you know, go over my time limit because I've already, already have. All right. You guys have a blessed day and just keep praying and focusing and you'll find what God has intended you for. All right. Bye.